I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com. Here to preview Saturday's match as FC Dallas travels to take on the Philadelphia Union. Here's a look at the Subaru keys to the game. The last time out for the Philadelphia Union, it was a 1-1 home draw against the Houston Dynamo. Head coach Peter Novak and his Union side rolled out a 4-5-1 formation. The MLS All-Star goalkeeper Farid Mondragon in net for the Union. And the teenager that scored the goal in the game was Jack McInerney, the game's only goal for Philadelphia. While FC Dallas, they're coming off of a 3-1 road loss at the LA Galaxy. It was the FC Dallas debut of Mike Santos who picked up an assist on Marvin Chavez's fifth goal of the season, his left-footed blast in the ninth minute of the game. The first key to the game is to break union pressure. The Philadelphia Union are an emotional, energetic team that looks to pressure the ball high up the field as the opposition is building the game. In this clip, you'll see how the possession of the Houston Dynamo breaks the pressure of Philadelphia and it releases the Houston team moving forward. As Houston is possessing the ball, the Union becomes stretched. Jeff Cameron releases Hunter Freeman, the right back for the Dynamo, and it's now a six on five in favor of Houston. The possession in the end lacks patience, but with Houston's passing, the Dynamo broke Philadelphia's high pressure. We spoke to FC Dallas midfielder Daniel Hernandez about the importance of breaking union pressure. We move the ball well. I mean, obviously we're a possession uh, style team, um, but I think uh, obviously if teams come out to, to try to high press us, we have to just figure out a ways of getting a lot more movement, not only from myself that, you know, uh, I can't just come back looking to get the ball because it's, it's not going to be possible. They're not going to allow us to do that. So uh, we just have to have some more movement with our other two center midfielders, maybe uh, try to stretch them out a little bit. The second key to the game is to deny the counterattack. Against the Houston Dynamo, it was Houston that did so very well in the game with their possession to put the Union on their heels. In this clip, you'll see, however, in a restart, the Philadelphia Union do so very well to break out into a counterattack very quickly. It begins as Roger Torres finds Justin Mapp. The Union are so quick to get numbers up against the Houston Dynamo. The Dynamo are dead to rights if the Union have a cutting edge. Jack McInerney runs into an offside position, and the opportunity is null and void. The Philadelphia Union are a team that can counterattack very quickly. And we spoke to FC Dallas midfielder Daniel Cruz about it. But I think that the most important is that we stay compact, that between the lines there's not so much space, and, uh, and then uh, be very careful with, uh, with the ball possession. The third key to the game is forward presence. The Philadelphia Union have two very solid center defenders in Carlos Valdez and Danny Califf. In the match against the Houston Dynamo, those two did very well to deny any passes into the forward's feet of the Dynamo. In this clip, you'll see how Houston tied the game. It's a long ball forward to a striker that's competing with both Valdez and Califf of the Philadelphia Union. It pops out and finds Jeff Cameron of the Houston Dynamo, who smashes it into the net to tie the game 1-1 in the late stages of that match. We spoke to FC Dallas forward Maicon Santos about the importance of having forward presence. To be present over there, to be a target man on top for, for, for our team, it's like very important because, like you say, they are physical and uh, they're strong, and they're gonna do everything to like to don't let you get in or don't let you score. So we gotta work and we gotta be strong up there. FC Dallas will look to bounce back following a tough road loss against the LA Galaxy. Up next for them, a match against a team that's in second in the Eastern Conference in the Philadelphia Union. The game kicks off at 7 p.m. and can be seen on Fox Sports Southwest. Or for our Spanish listeners, you can tune in to 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. It's the second meeting of the season between these two clubs. FC Dallas holds the advantage behind a 2-0 home victory back in May. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.